game picks. So obviously, uh, Mahomes will be making way to Lambeau Field, uh, the historic Lambeau Field. Um, it'll be the second time Mahomes will be going up against Jordan Love. Last time, we, yeah, they, we, Rogers had the whole uh, COVID thing. Was the last time, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so Chiefs are a six-point favorite at Lambeau Field on Sunday Night Football on NBC. So that'll be that'll be fun. There'll be. Uh, a nice little prime time game for us. So it'll be a, a late night uh, post game show. Um, but uh, JD, who do you have in this one? And what is your score prediction? Total points for this game is 42 points is what Vegas has the total points for this game. 42 points. Really? Pretty low. Uh, you know what, man? Look, Green, Green Bay's a, a, they're a good team. Uh, Jordan Love has been playing a lot better than what he has. As a matter of fact, at the, uh, at the beginning, he was he was being very dominant. They were winning a lot of different games, and and I know this because I had him up on my fantasy, and he was killing it for me. And then all of a sudden, uh, what ended up happening is they started losing some games. And I think defenses started getting a little bit more clever as far as how they were disguising the defense against him. Uh, not to mention also too, uh, you know, he didn't have Christian Watson. Christian Watson is back for him as a target. Uh, uh, Romeo Dobbs, you know, is a guy that I liked. I wanted to get him in the draft. I wanted to be a chief. Uh, but you know, he gives them a lot, uh, not to mention, uh, we know you got, uh, uh, Dylan is another guy that is going to be able to do some things. Jones, uh, I think it, Jones is playing, right. He's not on the injury reserve or anything. Right. Uh, I mean, he's got a questionable tag every week, but I, I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I think he's playing. Okay. Uh, but they, we, we know they have a, a, a good offense. Uh, and so, uh, that's the thing about it. They don't have much great the tight end. So that that's going to, that's going to affect them somewhat. Uh, but I think it's going to be a good game. They got a good defense as well. They got a very good defense. So that's going to be a good challenge against our, especially our, our up and coming wide receiver group who's still, you know, progressing to get better. Uh, hopefully, we're building off what we did last week, okay, out there in Las Vegas. To go ahead and, and put another 30, 30 points on somebody, okay, especially these Packers. And the thing is, man, look, it, it's that atmosphere up in Lambeau is electric. That is tr the tradition of the place. Oh man, I didn't even see. I didn't see nothing like it. I remember playing up. I've been up there twice, played up there twice or three times. But each time it, it was always like uh, you're kind of in all of it. You really are. Uh, just the cheese heads, everybody on the outside when you get into the town, and you know you're getting out there, man. There's some very good fans. Uh, but I, I do believe that that you know we we got a call for the victory. I think Spags is going to do a whole lot. They got a young wide receiver core, and it's going to be a great challenge to our, our, our corners. Very good challenge to our corners. We bottle everything up. Uh, Bolton, we don't know how many plays he's going to get, you know, but I've seen him practicing out there today, which is very encouraging to see him out there. Uh, hopefully, we'll, he'll get a little some reps, uh, you know, to help stop the run game. Uh, but as far as I see it right now, Marcus, uh, I'm looking. Uh, if we're doing everything that we did uh, last week, I see us probably going uh, 35 to 17. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's going to be a high scoring game. I do. I will say they started to come on as of late. They actually started, I mean, you saw them on Thanksgiving. They, they, they surprised, they shocked the entire world when they, when they, yeah. when they beat against Detroit. Right. Um, they didn't let Detroit do much of anything really in that game. No. But I, I and it, my thing is this. Uh, you got a much better uh, uh, quality quarterback, okay, uh, than golf, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, better uh, tight end, okay? Travis Kelsey, I think Isaiah Pacheco is going to have to be the guy to run. But if we get into that rhythm like we did last week, I think we're going to be fine. I think we will be fine. Um, Amon St. Brown, like he, you know, he, he, I got him on fantasy too. So I'm, I'm just talking about guys on my fantasy that I'm just watching. Uh, and so he was, he, he was coming out. He was making some good catches, man. He, you know, he had a good game against him. He's special. Oh man, incredible, incredible. He's, he's so, another guy I wanted us to get uh, in, in the draft. There's, we, we, there's been a lot of mid round guys or after after first round guys that like have like have lasted and for whatever reason. I, I think the, the the knock on him was though he's he's only gonna be a slot receiver, can't play on the outside. It's like okay, well, well, exactly how's, really how's that a knock? Right. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the smaller guys, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, he, he is. He, he's a special guy, no doubt about it. Uh, but I, just, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to be a high-scoring game. I do. Uh, you know, so night game, 35 to 17. Okay. So I have something very similar, JD. Uh, I think the I think the spread, uh, the, the total points is kind of the shocking part here at 42. Yeah. Everyone always thinks it's going to be a high-scoring game when, when the Chiefs are playing. And so I think Vegas is going to kind of want everyone to go over for this. I think it's going to go under. However, I think the Chiefs dominate, and we get an offensive explosion, and we win 34-7. to 34-7. Yeah. Yep. Woo! Okay. Yeah. It's going to be finally we we get to see the offense and defense. Finally, they both perfect storm. Both team, both both sides of the ball are clicking, and we get thirty four. We get thirty four points. Have four touchdowns, two field goals, and we hold them to one touchdown. Maybe 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 an opening drive touchdown or something in the first quarter, and then our defense kind of like you know does their thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's true. Hey man. Hey. I, 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 I'm, I'm waiting on defense, like you said. I think because they gave up, you know, just the, the points, you know, running the football, I think they, they're going to be adamant, man, to shut these guys down. And Jordan Love, I was taking some other guys today, and I'm just like, what we're going to do is we're going to bring pressure. We're going to bring pressure on him, disrupt him. And once you get him disrupted, that's going to be the thing about it. Uh, but he's got some poise, man. Uh, he's a good quarterback. But like you said, man, he got Christian Watson back. So he's going to throw the ball up to him. Yep. And Dobbs, too. So – uh, they have they have some they have some good young receivers there. J- Jaden Reed from Michigan State, the rookie. Reed? Yes, Reed. I about Reed. Reed also. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they got some guys. No doubt about it. Yeah. Talk about a team that has a lot of young weapons. That that's a team right there. And I'll tell you what, that receiver that receivers coach has done pretty well with those guys because all all those guys have contributed in 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 ways that maybe some of our young guys haven't. And so I I I, I do I I do want to praise the uh, you know everyone's been dogging a lot of receiver coaches around the league, but. The Green Bay's receiver coach, man, t- to lose Devontae Adams and then to have Dobbs, Watson, Reed, and there's a few other guys like like I think the guy's like his name's Mix, I think, or Nix. That yeah. guy's also stepped up too. They've had a lot of guys who stepped up on uh, from wide receivers in, in Green Bay. So yeah, kudos to that wide receiver coach, whoever that is. Yeah, but and we knew the guys that they they got like like Watson, uh, uh Reed and and Dobbs. Uh the things they were doing in college to me kind of just it, it jumped off the screen. Yeah. It really did. And so I knew they were going to be good. I knew they were going to be good because we, we had talked about getting Christian Watson here as uh, as a wide receiver, right? That was, a, that was the thing. It was between him and Pickens and, you know, Gascon. So. Yeah, I, I think I, I, after all, I mean, you you obviously do see this stuff, but I will say I think you're like a wide receiver guru, a whisperer over here. You got Tank Dell, that, that caught – obviously he looked great in college. You know, you know, play Houston stuff, the AAC, but like the fact you're like, nah, that that that's a guy who's going to do well in the NFL, and he's just tearing it up. Tearing it up. It, it was was fit on mode. What would you need to do offensively? He was going to be that guy. I said, man, we got to go get Tank Dell. But it's yeah. all right. Yeah, yeah Houston's, we, Houston's got a special one. Mm-hmm, for sure. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.